What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cam ATL and welcome back to another NFL video with your boy. Drop a like down below, comment anything in the comment section, enter your name into the $100 giveaway I'm going to do every single week on this channel. Uh, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for joining me. As always, welcome in for week four. As you guys know, early on in the week, we do a first look lineup where we build a lineup together. Pretty much just talk about the guys that are in the lineup. And then later on in the week, uh, we go position by position and full slate, uh, full break down the slate fully. Week three was a tough one for me. I'm down to take my L's when they come. It is what it is. This DFS is going to happen. Uh, Amon Ross St. Brown got hurt, had an ankle injury, and he ended up like missing out on like 20 something snaps because of it. Um, David Montgomery went out early. Uh, Stefan Diggs dealt with dehydration. Uh, it was just a tough week, man. Tough week three, man. It, it was, it, it was really rough. Uh, so excited to get into week four. Excited to bounce back in a major way. So let's go ahead and get straight to it. Full uh, lineup about to be put out real quick, and then uh, later on in the week, the full slate breakdown. All right. So let's go position by position. Oh, the winner of last week's giveaway, by the way, is Jonathan McKeachern. McCotchern. I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right. M C C. A U G H E R N McCahern McCahern Jonathan hit me up on Twitter at Cam underscore ATL everybody make sure y'all hit me up on Twitter at Cam underscore ATL make sure you follow me that's the best way to get a hold of me if you have any questions stuff like that uh, make sure you follow me and uh, hit me up so let's go ahead and get straight into this congratulations Jonathan uh, make sure y'all comment any, anything in the comment section any your name into the hundred dollar giveaway I'm gonna choose next week on the first look lineup all right so let's get straight into this now. So, as I was looking at the slate, right, I started looking at the quarterbacks, all right, I found some good options, I liked at quarterback, you know, made, worked on some lineups with different quarterbacks, and in the, the version that I like the most so far is taking advantage of one of the teams where I feel like is in a very plus matchup, um, and a, a little stack, a little tiny little stack of a team that I think is in a great matchup great position and their prices are pretty damn good to me um, and it allows me to get everyone around that I also love okay and we're gonna go talk about it so let's start at quarterback now first things first I want to make it known I'll, and we'll talk about it in the full, full slate breakdown I've made Josh Allen lineups I've made Jalen Hurts lineups I've made Lamar Jackson lineups I made lineups with these guys up here okay um, don't get me wrong I, I've attempted it and as the week goes on some value will pop in and we'll, we'll know more um, but as of right now I do love lineups with I do like some lineups with Josh Allen, but my favorite lineup I've made so far is going to be down here with Jacoby Brissett. Now hear me out. Jacoby Brissett's only 5-5 going against the Atlanta Falcons. My Atlanta Falcons still have issues in that secondary. Their defense is still not good. This is in Atlanta, in a dome. It's a great spot for Jacoby once again to have a solid performance. Okay? Um Jacoby Brissett's got some solid targets, man. Najoku came through for him big last week. Um, Amari Cooper's been huge for them this year. Uh, so speaking of that, let me go ahead and pair him up with him. Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper is just too cheap, in my opinion, for a guy getting this much work. At 6'3", Amari Cooper getting this much work in the offense is just a steal to me. He 10 and 11 targets the last two weeks. He's got 21 targets the last two games. Amari Cooper against Atlanta. Fantastic matchup here going against Atlanta, who gave up over 22 to Michael Thomas week one, over 35 to Cooper Cup week two, just gave up over 16 to Tyler Lockett. Expect Amari Cooper to have another big game. And this is the reason why I'm going this pairing, because I like the prices of these guys in, in elite spots. That's the only reason why. But I do love my versions with Josh Allen paired with Diggs. I'm not going to lie. But, uh... This is a good route to be able to get everyone else in a nice, solid, balanced look for the first look, okay? As you guys know, this is the first look. It doesn't mean lock this in, put your life savings on it. This is a first look on the early looks of this slate just to get us going, all right? Uh, let's go to running backs. So at running back, a player I really, really like is going to be Jamal Williams. DeAndre Swift keeps dealing with issues, uh, injury issues so far this year. And Jamal Williams has taken full advantage of his extra share he's gotten here. He got 20 carry. He was the featured running back in this last game. 
he got 20 carries and made the most of it. 87 yards, two touchdowns, as well as still getting a little bit of exposure in the pass game. This matchup is fantastic against Seattle. I love Jamal Williams. I think he's a fantastic option, especially if he's going to continue being the featured back. Um, our boy Swift is still banged up. Um, so he should still be able to take advantage here in this one. And at 6-1, I love Jamal Williams. All right. Next running back, the guy who screwed me and got hurt. David Montgomery left the game last week. So I'm going to roll with Khalil Herbert. All right. Khalil Herbert. And these projections will be updated in a little while. I'm still working on projections and stuff. But I just wanted to get this video out. Khalil Herbert at 5'7". Now, this is something to keep an eye on, obviously, but because David Montgomery left that game last week and was not able to return at all, I'm expecting he they, they take a couple weeks with him, especially with how good Khalil Herbert looked. Now, this is, like I said, it's early week, so I don't know if David Montgomery could end up being in by the final look, and we'll talk about it once the final look comes. But if David Montgomery is, in fact, going to miss again, um, Khalil Herbert is legit. All right. He's going to get all of the work. He's only five, seven Khalil Herbert did what David Montgomery was supposed to do if he didn't get injured. Um, so Khalil Herbert looked fantastic. 20 carries, 157 yards and two touchdowns. So Khalil Herbert, fantastic position here. And like I said, David Montgomery, I'm expecting him to miss with the fact he couldn't return this last game. Um, I'm expecting him to maybe take a couple weeks with him, get better. And it helps to be able to be like, you know what? Go ahead and sit back and relax a little bit. Seeing that how good Herbert did, like give that dude a couple couple weeks to heal up fully. Uh, Khalil Herbert is a great option. Now, Josh Allen or not, I'm still rolling digs. You got to get exposure in this game, in my opinion. Buffalo Baltimore game is going to be a shootout. It's going to be a fantastic spot. At least that's what I'm expecting. Stefan Diggs is a big time receiver. Okay. And being able to go down to Brissett allows me to still get all of these guys around him uh, that are going to be solid options and still get in a Stefan Diggs. Yes, you're having to pay money at 8-4, but Stefan, as long as he's drinking his water and staying hydrated, this dude's going to be the main guy, obviously, on Buffalo. And in a competitive matchup against Baltimore, who, by the way, gave up like a million yards to, uh, those uh, Dolphin receivers, okay? So, Stefan Diggs, a fantastic position here. I, he's my favorite receiver on the entire slate. Obviously, if you need to go down somewhere, he is the spend-up guy. There are some receivers that are in that mid-range option that I feel like are solid. So, you can go down from Stefan, especially with the fact you're not going uh, Josh Allen in this first-look lineup. But with this being a J Jacoby Brissett paired up with the Mari Cooper line, uh, I do like the run back of Stefan Diggs, and I haven't struggled with the money I have left over. Like, I, I, I'm fine with it, okay? Um, last but not least, another guy who has just been fantastic and on an offense that I love this week is Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith is uh, another option that I've looked at as the Jalen Hurts lineups, as I said earlier. Um, there's like three quarterbacks that I've worked on lineups with. My favorite overall is this one with Jacoby Brissett so far. Um, it allows me to get these studs. Look at that. Amari Cooper, Stephon Diggs, Devontae Smith. These guys in full point PPR on DraftKings are fantastic. And then we still got the solid running backs of Jamal Williams and Herbert dealing with their, you know, uh, uh, teammates dealing with injuries to give them bumps. Uh, it's just a fantastic spot, man. Devontae, uh, Devontae Smith isn't dealing with any like injury bump, but he's really starting to click again with Jalen Hurts. This is a deep bomb threat kind of guy. Uh, great matchup against Jacksonville. Only 5'8 for a guy getting solid, seeing solid work in this offense. The only possible down part here is Philly getting up big and running a ton. Um, but we'll have to see what happens. But at the end of the day, it's one of the top team totals on the slate. And this is a great price that you can get involved in this game with. So at 5'8, you're getting involved in one of the top totals of the, of the week. And, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a great spot for me. Now, before I get into this next pick, part of my reasoning here is, and I'm going to talk about a couple options that you could go here. All right, I'm going to go with the first option that you have an option of. You could go with David Njoku. Seeing that you have Brissett, you could full on get exposure to that Cleveland side. Now, if you do decide to go this round, you decide to go, you know what? I like the Brissett, Cooper, and the Joku route. I'm going to stack up Cleveland. I do recommend you get an Atlanta run back. So instead of Devontae Smith, maybe go and get... Uh, Damn, I'm blanking on his damn name. The new London, Drake London, running it back with Atlanta or something like that, okay? Um, so if you do go the David Njoku and you go in Cleveland stack, if you're going three Cleveland, then you're hoping that game's competitive and, and it 
and it correlates well to run back an Atlanta play. So with that being said, I would go Drake London on the other side. All right. If you do know, go Nujoku. So who I'm perfectly fine with, and I ran some lines with him already. Uh, but the guy I'm going to go with, Amon Ross St. Brown, like I said, is dealing with a little hindrance uh, ankle injury. Uh, you could see that the burst off the line when he was running his routes was hindered as well. He still had a great game, but you could tell he was hobbled out there and he missed out on 20 plus snaps, which is significant um, with that ankle injury. Now, if they decide, you know what, this is our, our number one guy. This is our big time guy. This guy's got a bright future for us. He is a, a star, up and coming star for this team. Let's give him a week to relax. Uh, you know what I mean? We're going against Seattle. Let's take a week to relax and then, uh, you know, have him come in fully. Now, I'm not saying he's going to miss this game. I don't know. Uh, Amon Ross St. Brown said, I think I'll be fine. But, you know, the coaching staff could be like, you know what? We don't want you really pushing nothing. He could be limited. He could be out. Who knows? But TJ Hawkinson is a guy that is interesting here if Amon Ross St. Brown is going to be hobbled week four and be either limited or out. So Hawkinson at 4-1 is going to be leaned on heavily by Goff here, especially if Amon Ra misses. All right, so as we know, it's early of the early time of the week, so I'm just kind of talking about the idea. Um, and and if Amon Ra St. Brown ends up in, I'm going to significantly decrease Hawkinson. If he is in and full go and he's looking good and getting in full practices, but if he misses practice all week and is limited, uh, then I'm interested in some Hawkinson coming in healthy um, and probably going to get heavily involved. You know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, that's my reasoning for TJ Hawkinson. Uh, if Amon Ra misses, Hawkinson will be the number one receiver pretty much for Goff. Uh, so I think he's a solid, solid option. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going uh, TJ. But with that being said, like I said, a perfectly fine way to go, especially in GPPs, would be go down from Hawkinson to Joku, who gets – Plenty of looks from Brissett, and then but but if you do that route, I encourage you to go up, for, uh, change Devonte Smith to Drake Linden. Let me see if there's a price difference there. You got Drake Linden at six one. Uh, in this lineup, I'm oh well, yeah. Actually, if you drop T.J. Hawkinson, you will have the money for that. Okay, so you know what? This is first looks a GPP lookish lineup anyway. So let's take Hawkinson out. Let's go ahead and go to Njoku. I, I still was able to get that Hawkinson uh, information to you guys. So let's go ahead and put this version in uh, because it just makes sense, especially for GPP correlation wise. Uh, I hope it fits. We'll, we'll see because I'm just winging this right now. But uh, so Brissett, Cooper, and Njoku ran back with Drake London, who's obviously the guy on Atlanta. Good matchup for him as well at home in a dome for these guys. Um, still getting the stud Stefan Diggs. Everything's looking sexy. Uh, just don't forget about Hawkinson in that position, okay? And if you go Hawkinson, you don't necessarily have to run back Atlanta in that in that little two-man stack right here. All right, but uh, because first look, it's the first look lineup, we're early in the week, I want to give you all like a GPP high upside type of play. And with that being said, I really want it to correlate very well. So I'm just going Brissett, Cooper, and Njoku ran back with Drake London on the other side. All right, at flex. Unfortunately, there's no way that Sterling Shepard is going to be playing in this game this week. So a guy that I really like is Richie James Jr. I think he's going to really, really shine here with Sterling Shepard out. I absolutely love this dude. Um, Sterling Shepard will not be playing week three unless it was just, uh, yeah, there's just no way. I don't know the full significance of his energy, uh, injury yet, but seeing him get carted off, there's just no way he's playing. With Sterling Shepard out for New York, there's definitely some value that's going to open up there, and Richie James Jr. is my go-to. At 4K, full point PPR, I absolutely love this dude, and honestly, as I'm looking at this lineup again, this thing is sexy. Wow, this thing is sexy. The correlation, the upside possibilities here in this one, uh, it, it's a good one. So Richie James at 4K really feels good to me with Sterling Shepard out. Uh, he's going to get some solid targets in this offense, and he is a solid guy. Like He is a guy who can put up 30-something. Like, like Hollins did last week, surprisingly. Uh, he is a guy that could really show up for this Giants team. All right. Um, and then last but not least, at defense, it is perfect. It does fit. This, this, uh, this strategy does fit. I want that Packers defense. Normally, I don't spend up for defense, but the Packers defense. Oh, I can't lock it. As you guys know, the lineup builder, for some reason, we can't figure out how to get defense locked in the builder. But you get what I'm saying. Packers go. When you use the optimizer, uh, defense will come in no problem. Like it, it's not an issue, but on the lineup builder, for some reason, I we just can't 
get the defense to just lock in. But whatever. Packers defense at defense. The Packers are going against New England. Mac Jones has a high ankle sprain. He's not going to be playing. They're going to be playing, uh, what? what's his damn name? Uh, Hoyer. Hoyer's going to be coming in for New England, I believe. And the Packers defense is going to have a field day at home in Green Bay against a backup quarterback for New England. New England's offense already hasn't really been able to do much. I mean, it's just a fantastic spot for them. So Packers D, just to sum up a perfect lineup, we got Jacoby Brissett in Atlanta in a dome. Great matchup. Paired up with Amari Cooper, David Njoku, running it back with Drake London on the other side, getting Stephon Diggs, uh, the my favorite receiver on the entire slate in what should be a competitive matchup against Baltimore that gave up 1 million yards to Waddle and uh, Tyreek Hill. All right. Then Khalil Herbert, especially if David Montgomery ends up missing. Jamal Williams with, uh, with Swift, not like constantly injured. He was the featured back last week. I'm expecting that again this week. Um, and yeah, man, Richie James with no Sterling Shepard. It's just a beautiful first look lineup, man. Uh, like I said, I mean, throw this in a single entry GPP early. Don't mess with it. Just kind of, you know, keep an eye on the guys that we're looking at to make sure they're in. Like Khalil Herbert, make sure David Montgomery's not starting, obviously, for him. Uh, but it's an interesting first look for sure. Um, as the week goes on, things change and, you know, we'll, we'll adapt and adjust things and things will, you know, the final uh, lineup probably won't look like this. Most times when I make a first look lineup early in the week, the final version is not the same exact lineup. Um, so uh, definitely interested to see where we land for week four. Definitely loving this slate so far. Really love most of the time when I'm able to really build a very solid first look lineup that I really, really love. I end up having a great week, so I'm excited for it. Hopefully, everybody has a great week. Good luck, everyone. Uh, GreenlightDFS.com to join the squad. I'm going to be posting some early college football prize picks, early NFL prize picks. As soon as all that stuff starts dropping, I'm going to dro- grab those early, post those on the NFL access page. i um, excited to get into college football. Again, we had that takedown, uh, not this week, but the last week, and then this week we came right there. Like We scored a ton of points. It came right there due to, uh, I believe, a, one of our running backs got injured. And, you know, that was sad. But once again, we were right there on having a big week again. So college football is having a huge year. Uh, super excited about that. And NFL is going to have some big, big, big weeks this year. So I'm excited, man. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Make sure you like the video down below. Comment anything to enter your name into that $100 giveaway I'm going to do every week on this channel. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for joining me. And I'm out. Peace.